Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, as you can see by the title, I'll be doing a full face of Charlotte Tilbury. First thing is first, I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. And this is her lovely moisturizer. If y'all are an OG, you'll know that this is one of my favorite moisturizer to use. As small as this is, a little bit goes a very long way. Gives instant moisture. Funny enough, I do not own any Charlotte Tilbury primer. Actually, I do own one, but that does not work for my oily skin. That's the UV, that's the primer with the SPF. I will insert a picture right here. It generally does not work for my oily skin. And I realize that my makeup separates every time I attempt to use it with different products. It still separates. This is not a Charlotte Tilbury product, but this is my OG. Use it every time I do my makeup. And this definitely works for me, works for all different skin types. And this one is the Huda Beauty Jelly Water Primer. This is my all-time favorite primer and it's meant to be a skincare as well. It was originally made to be used as skincare, but it really works with making my makeup last really long. I'm finished with that. I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Wand. The name is gone, but this is basically a little thing that gives you a bit of glow. Some people do use this as a foundation if you have perfect skin, that natural radiant finish look. But for me, I have oily skin, so I use it in the highest points of my cheek to get that nice glow. I'm just going to take my Peaches and Cream PC08 brush and this is just an angled face brush to just blend this out. As I mentioned, this just gives me a nice glow from within, especially under or used above my foundation. The next step, I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. This is in shade 14 Warm and Charlotte Tilbury is one of my top 5 foundations. When I mean longevity wise, everyone. So we're just gonna apply this. And you're gonna see how how this just has full coverage. And this is once again my perfect shade. just patting in this foundation when you pat in your foundation you get maximum coverage look at that as I just said this is one of my favorite foundation if I'm rushing and I don't feel like putting on color corrector this is one of it this is just one that I would pick with my eyes closed just look how beautiful it rests on the skin it blends like a dream it's full coverage like why would you not try this foundation? If you guys are someone that is warm golden undertone like myself, I would, I'll definitely go and purchase the warm undertone. Now if you're someone that has mainly a red warm undertone, I will definitely tell you to go in with the neutral undertone, which is very bizarre, but that's just how it is. Look at that all done. And the next thing I'm going to take is my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Liquid Concealer. I hate the packaging on this, but the formula is amazing. I'm almost finished with this one. I'm on, almost on to my third container. Ooh, 
before I blend out this concealer, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Sun Kissed Blue sun kissed glue bronzer this one is in the shade 3 tan if you have not seen my previous video reviewing this product why have you not please go and check it out and see how this performs on my skin even though i'm gonna even though i'm gonna apply this right now <laughs> i did go in with a little more in depth in my review on this bronzer I just think this is the perfect shade. Guys, I've been using this cream bronzer after my review. And trust me when I say this lasts a very long time also. It does not disappear. And it does give the skin a very nice glow. I love the color. To blend out my concealer, I'm gonna take my June and Co sponge and I'm just gonna patty pat pat. And a little bit of this concealer goes a very long way. It will last you a long time. That's one thing I must say. Look at that. To blend out my cream contour, I'm going to take my Peaches and Cream brush in PC21. It is a angled upper brush, and I'm just going to push that into the skin. And one thing I must say that this bronzer, you can let it sit, it will still blend out like a dream. Look at that. Always remember to blend. Just making sure there's no harsh lines. This is what the skin is looking like so far. I'm gonna take my mini Charlotte Tilbury setting powder in the shade to medium to just set my concealed areas. Look how beautiful that has been. I'm now going to set my cream bronzer with my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer in the shade 4 Deep. This is what it looks like. Look how bronzified I'm looking already. And I'm just going to set these areas. This bronzer is very pigmented so you don't have to go in with a lot. thing I'm gonna take is my blush and this one is walk of no shame yeah this is what it looks like so I'm just applying it right here and this one has a bit of a glow to it I do have the matte one as well but I felt like just going in with this. Then I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Beauty Light wand, and this is a high blush. This is beautiful as well, but I don't set this with powder to be honest. I love this. This is gorgeous. 
and this one i don't remember if i say this one is in peach gazim just gonna blend that out this gives like a natural highlight to the skin as well give the cheek a bit of color and then i also like to take my charlotte Tilbury magic star highlight and this and this is what it looks like and this is how the inside looks like it's a very pretty color i'm just gonna put that right there just at the highest points on my nose because you know i love a nose highlight and above my cupid's bow and there's that and I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I feel like this is beautiful. I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liner in Foxy Brown. Then I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury Lipstick in Yes Honey. And this is what it looks like for lip gloss i'm going to take my charlotte tilbury champagne diamond I'm going to take fresh rose to apply a little bit on top because I'm a little bit extra today. I just felt for an extra glossy effect, so I felt like going in with this one. This is very a very good purchase actually, and it does have a minty sensation to the lip, but nothing too dramatic like the Fenty Beauty one. Before I finish off this look, I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury mascara in Pillow Talk Push Up. This is it. Let me get a mirror before I mess up my eyes because I spent time. And I'm just gonna apply it just like so. As you guys can see. This is the end result of today's look. I hope you guys did enjoy it. I hope you guys do love this look. I know the eyes are very bold and bright and but it's for the gram it's for tiktok and it's for the gram so yes um please do comment down below what's your favorite product from charlotte tilbury um and if you are planning to invest in anything charlotte tilbury or it's just not a brand for you Get away.